Okay, folks, so here we are. So I've got our, uh, our little table set up. Um, it's a, it's a roll-around cart. I've got the uh, wind turbine, production wind turbine in the background. The only thing that's going to tell you is just the direction of the wind. That's all I really want you to see is that there is wind here and that uh, that's probably, I don't know, 50 or 60 feet away. While it is up on a tower, um, it's about uh, 20 feet higher than what we are here, maybe 22, 23 feet higher. You can see the wind sensor underneath the blades and that is represented right here. Now, before anybody says it, I get that the wind speed is different here, 20 feet below. 20 feet below the uh, the level, but it's the consistency of the number because we're not going to move this cart and we're going to put Missouri Wind and Solar Blades on. So that's all I really want you to look at. We have it set up with a switch where once things get going, uh, we can do start up wind speed with no load, kind of free spin, and then we can put uh, a load on it and see what it does uh, consistently with both sets of blades. Uh, I believe that's a 50 or 60 watt uh, incandescent bulb for uh, a DC auto uh, light for a headlight for a motorcycle so uh, it should be consistent across the board. so let's just sit back and watch for a minute don't worry about the mile per hour just focus on the number and the location and to make sure we're not cheating anything you can see the wind turbine in the background for the direction of the wind travel to make sure that we're faced into the wind i'll make some, some minor adjustments as we go moving the cart a little bit but um, you know you'll be able to see uh, to make sure that it's, it's a pretty equal comparison so there we go let's just watch it magic number there to look at it's at 16 and 18 and 14 right now all that is is telling us that's what the baseline number is for this thing to uh, really get up and kind of ramp and go on its own don't it's we're not saying that's mile per hour just for this baseline test for consistency sake So the meter, if you can't see it right now, says uh, the max was 24. Now we're at 13. Let's put it under a load and see what happens. Yep. So you see the light came on. Okay. You can consider that a break, if you will. Now I'll take it off the load. We'll watch it come back up again. So it looks like around 10, not 10 miles an hour, just the number 10 is when we start to see motion with this set of blades, the hub, and the uh, and the combination of uh, the PMA. Looks like 10 is the magic number for this test. So this again is a Thermodyne um, 11 blade hub and 11 blade So if you'll notice, the meter went to 11. So it looks like about 10 is the base baseline for this set, this configuration here. Now what that equates out to in miles per hour, we'll figure that out later. But
Okay, let's put it under a load. Well, let's wait till it gets above 10 pretty consistently. So if you look in the background, you'll see we're faced into the wind just like the production wind turbine that's up on the tower. Okay, so there's 13. We'll flip that light on and it basically breaks it, slows it down. We'll turn the light off, take the load off. So I'm going to pause the camera and I'm going to uh, change the, uh, the blades, some good gust, you see the light coming on. Just keeping that bulb going, slowing down a little bit, take the load off. Hopefully you can still see the wind turbine in the background. I believe you can. See the light, the bulb right here. So the load is off. And off it goes. Okay, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna slow this thing down. If you have enough wind, it'll maintain the load and keep it going. Well, I'll tell you, it's got to be it's a pretty uh, substantial amount of wind to maintain it with, uh, with a heavy load on it. So, okay, so I'm going to break it now, slow it down so that I can change blades. I'll pause the camera, then I'll come back. Thanks.